Hello everyone, Flying Duchy here. Welcome back to part 2 in our Poatan Power Horde run in EO4 Leviathan. The second video. I think the game is still not released when this video goes live. I think after the third video it will be live, but uh, let's keep playing. So we are still trying to get our tribal development as high as possible. And we just wait for 100 devastation to migrate. And in the meantime, we are trying to make money. We have the favors on a couple of nations that we can use to ask money from them. If they uh, uh, say no, I think they get a stability hit. And the AI can do this on you as well. And when you say no, you're going to lose the stability. So it's going to be interesting how that will work. And I don't know, it, it's, it, it looks very overpowered, this favor system, but uh, we will see. Let's see what everyone thinks about it, right? We're waiting for 200 money, so we can build the uh, building to get more tribal development. Um, I'm still thinking about going to the chiefdom, so we get even more, but I think I will just go to uh, tier 5 as quickly as I can. Because at some point, the devastation growth is so high that it is really hard to get more tribal development. We just keep doing it like this. Is there anyone that wants an alliance with me? And what makes sense? Well, this maybe. Well, who are your rivals? Yeah, Yora. I think I'm gonna uh, ally Chihaha. Uh, let's wait until I have 10 favors with one of my diplomats. Now you can see that the game is running a bit slow. It's also because I'm recording only on the same PC. Let's see what how do how how bad the lag will be later on. Okay, we have 10 with you. We can come back. Let's get an alliance with you. We're going to use our favors to ask for money again. Very much. We can also do this with uh, Chia. Uh, yeah, we could invite him in the, fe in the Federation, but what will happen? He's of a wrong culture group and we don't get any favors from it. Um, cohesion, I mean. But hey, we are a one-man's one faction and we are getting points, so... Which is fantastic. I would just keep doing it uh, over here. You come back. Ask for money. It would be nice if we can get all these nations here. In a federation. At some point. It's exactly what we need to, need to have. Yeah, curry the favors again. Now the higher your opinion, the more favors you get. So, And also your diplomatic reputation is helping. Of course, when you do this on Ming, it will take a long time. But if you just get a one-time 10 favors on Ming, you can get 500 ducats. Which is very strong. <laughs> At 48 devastation, of course we lose out of, uh, well, development costs we can't develop, so it doesn't matter. Uh, goods produced doesn't really matter, because we don't have, make any trade. Manpower is, that matters. Sailors doesn't matter. Friendly movement speed, hostile movement speed, supply limit, and institution spread all doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is local manpower. Yeah, we will always pick the one with the most points. Now we are almost getting there with our money. What do we have here? 4, 3, 3. Yes, we have now 7 taxation. 4 from tribal development. We have 3 here. And 3 military points from it. Very, very nice. I don't think the AI migrated yet. But they're gonna do it soon. Ah, there we go. So what happened? No, oh, they only had 35 uh, devastation, but the AI made a good move because they are now uh, grazing in my land, so they get more tribal development. And that gave us another CB. We can uh, push them out. And that's it. Oh yeah, we, we don't really have to do anything here.
I don't think I'm gonna declare war on them. I really want to go here. Maybe have a truce with him or take this land. I cannot migrate here to get more points. What I also can do is do a war against him. Take maybe these three, if I can, and then settle here. That is a possibility. Thing is, we are not very strong yet. And we have to fight a coalition or something. Oh, there are some wars happening. Uh, we also need 10 favors, so let's wait for 10 favors and then we will take a look if we can go to war, actually. Take some tribal land. Uh, we almost have enough money for the, the building. And we have a bit of inflation. Promising trader, we're not going to use you. We need our buildings. One more month, I think, and we will build the irrigation building. Here we go. Extra tribal development. And the building will go with us when we migrate. Even when it's not finished, it will go with you, so you don't have to wait. Sixty-five percent, okay. This is going very well. A cold welcome. I don't care. I don't know why the first option doesn't doesn't do anything. Oh well. Now of course as a tribe we don't have any inst institution and we can't get it. We can't develop, so we can't get it. Um and these tech technologies from one to two are actually pretty good. Because right now our combat width is 15. Uh, it will go to 20, which we don't have, but... Uh, the infantry shock goes up with 0.2, which is a lot. Because we only have 0.3. And we don't have any cavalry, so... Uh, the infantry gets a lot better with only one tech. You can get a tech advantage. We're doing really well. And I really want a tech advantage. So we are not going to migrate everywhere, because it's very expensive. That's why we are waiting for 100. You want to keep some military points as well. You need to fight your tribes around you. What's this? The merchant is gone. Why? I don't know. I think it's just on the limit, this trade node, but we don't get any money from it, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything. Of course, when <clears throat> of course when I go to war, I will go over my force limit with a lot. Seventy-two percent. I should migrate first and then go to war. Yes. I should get technology before I go to war, but that not that takes too long. But I need to see if I can actually uh, do this war in a in a decent manner. Hey, there's the irrigation building. Now we make point twelve. There we go. We have point twelve tribal development. Very very nice. Now the next building I want to build, I think, is going to be the ceremonial fire pit and get a military advisor. Yes. The monthly re reform of 0.2 is a lot. We now have 0.5, then we have 0.7 each month. That will uh, increase the the reforms uh, a lot. Uh, that's very important. Now we do have 10 favors. I'm not going to use them. Because I want to use them for a war maybe. They don't want to join. They are allied to the enemy. Oh no. Really? Really? Let's go to War of You. Yeah, when we have the favors, they would join, and only only Atinga Wantam will join. Then we can take Lenapa's uh, tribal land, which is uh, this one. 
this one and maybe this one as well. Which will give us more influence in the Chesapeake Bay. Yeah, I think that's what we are going to do then. So now we need favors with you. So that you want to join the war as well. Then we have uh, three allies helping us. Stripe should migrate. There's there's the uh, the the message. When you are above 80 devastation, you get it. But once again, I'm gonna wait until we add 100 because it's very expensive. And I think I'm gonna go here. Because then we can also claim this land later on. We have 10 with you. I will keep uh, keep those for now. It's a bit of money, unfortunately. So when I migrate here, it's going to be times 2. But that's the same cost if I go here and then here. So I will go here immediately. Then I go back to my own land, so it's uh, it will r reset this times 2 modifier for the military power. Then we go here, here, and here, I think. And this is a dead end, by the way. You cannot cross these mountains. So maybe we have to go here, here, and then... Uh, graze on this province, and then go here. Yeah. I think that's what we are going to do. Now, what kind of advisors do we have? That's not doing a lot. Well, the land forest limit does do, does help, but it costs money. What is this? We have a fort defense who is 50% cheaper. That's level 2. No. It costs 0.53 a month to get an advisor. That is too much. Well, maybe. I don't know. I really want the buildings first. They are more important. Yeah, I want the buildings. Come on. We are almost at our devastation cap. And then we will migrate. And the devastation will tick down slowly. For example, here there is still 32.55 uh, from this tribe. And it goes down with very slowly with 0 0.08. But at some point you, you have no territory to graze anymore. You're just getting too big. Which is very interesting. Yeah, we have to migrate and then go to war. Let's raise the uh, maintenance. I'm going to build another troop. I'm going to build two more actually. I'm going to make my general into a leader. He sucks. Ninety-nine. One hundred. Migrate. Boom. And now we have... Now we will have a, a very much higher maximum manpower, which makes us stronger for a federation. And I will show you that it's not working. In this patch we now have 11.2 strength. Uh, we have enough favors everywhere. So if I would put you in my federation, they have a strength of 10.53, we now have 11.23, so we are stronger. Uh, we get 0.4 now, because we have two of the same culture in the federation. He's gonna leave. At some point. Oh, we did, we did get one month extra of an extra 0.2. But he's gonna leave at some point. And that is really annoying. Ah, there you go. He leaves the, co the federation. So if you want to micromanage, you have to invite, 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 invite for 20 years to get your uh, your stuff over here. But that's not working how it should work. We are going to get this one so we get more morale. And we are going to go to war with Mr... Hey, where's the Lanaba here? 
Jaora will join, but they are also busy. And someone over here. Okay. Uh, the war call will be the tribal border feud for the conquest of, well, their lands here. We can only take these two apparently. Yeah, because we are not bordering the rest, so... I don't know if we can take th these ones uh, after his capital, but we will find out. Let's go to war. It will be 29,000 versus 18,000. For the tribal border feud. Oh. Now, can I take you out first? Now, we go to speed 4 because I cannot F it up. Oh, there are a lot of troops over here. I don't like it. The Napa is here as well. Oh, I should help my allies. Go here. No, maybe not. They can handle it on their own. Do we have any shock generals? Yeah, two shock. What do you have? Lenapa, two shock and... Oh, can't see it anymore. They are losing. They are losing... And this is getting occupied by someone else already, so I don't have to worry about it. I think we don't have to do anything. That was a lucky war. I can tell you that. In my test runs, this was not going so easy. Are you gonna leave when I do this? Oh, okay. I'm gonna sit next to you then, so I don't get any attrition. Um, I could put another diplomat for uh, favors, but we will peace out at some point. So, what can you take? Tribal land. Now, some of these things are 100%, and I don't know why. Is that because there is their capital? Saki... It's 90% if I want to take this one. So we're not going to take it. We're going to take this one. Well, I think we're going to take that one. Because then we can take these four in the next uh, war for 100%. Because there are 25 for each tribal land. This is their capital. Their, uh, their, where they are grazing right now. And that costs more, man, uh, more war score. I could take this one as well. I could take these three. That's something I can do. But why am I allowed to take this one? I'm not even bordering it. I am bordering it right now, but when we are migrating away, this will be a province that is not bordered on any of my tribal lands, because this is part of uh, Tuscarora. So I don't know how that works with this one. We might just take this province here. I mean, it's a good one. It's an estuary, so... I think I'm gonna do it. And I'm not gonna pillage the capital, which is a new thing that you can do. I also can't do it, apparently. No. We can make him forced to uh, move out. To this province. Specialization is not possible. Um, and pillaging the capital will only help uh, Tuscarora with uh, this tribal province. So, not gonna do it. If I go to war of you now, only the Cherokee will join. Yeah, not gonna work for us. Lenapa is coming back. I should get some favors in the, in the meantime. It's too much money. He doesn't know what to do. What is he doing? Is he going to my province? Yeah, I think so.
No. It's going somewhere else. Okay, we have 36%. We need to uh, siege down the other enemies as well. Now, can we take this or are they both now sitting here? There's only one here. Do we have a siege bonus? No. There is uh, a allied force, I think, from the other war. Yeah, there's still problems over here that we can't really reach, I think. I mean, I can tell Mahikan to go there, but I don't think he can get there. We have already almost 7, 6 and 5. Don't make this province very good. It's now 19 development, 20. Yeah, I don't think we can get there. Unfortunately. Do I take this one? No, I can't take it because then we are blocked from it. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take any tribal land from this nation right now. We need to go to war with this one at some point. Which is really annoying. I mean they are getting destroyed right now. Of course we are looting the province. Not anymore. You can see we are now getting 1.5 devastation a month. <laughs> that is how quickly it goes. And at some point we are just spending military power everywhere. Which well, That's why I don't like my bloody chief. He's terrible. Some more fighting. Looks like we are doing really well. Okay, we have 10 favors with you. I will bring you home. Yeah, I would love to piece you out, but uh, you are not going to accept my offer. Yes, yeah, now it's 100 war score, apparently. Get 10 favors with all the countries. We're going to go to war again. Come on, get the siege. You can do it. There's the Renaissance. Yikes. Even more tech penalty. Come on, get the seeds already. <sighs> Come on. I want a piece out. We are not getting any progress. Not gonna take this one. Tech 2 admin won't give us anything. Okay, there we go. We finally uh, did it. Now, what can I do when I separate piece you? Yeah, I can take... Okay, so... I could take this thing. Once again, the problem is... That we will have truces so we can't graze in their tribal land. But I think I am gonna take this thing here. It's part of the other culture though, but I don't really care. Yeah, let, let's take some more tribal land because we can. This one is bordering at least, so we will pick this one. I'm just going to take this one because we will not border it soon. Uh, take your money. They will no longer exist. What do you mean? 
That's not a bug. They will exist when I pick this other province. That's a bug. Yeah, look, n now I have it selected. And if I unselect it, I can't select it anymore. So there's another bug in the game. But I hope it will be fixed at some point. Um, yeah, so we have to be a bit funky here. We take one more tribal land, we will take money, and he will cancel his stuff. Can you also give me war operations? You can. There we go. And we got this province now in our tribal land, so we don't gain anything from it. It's just within our borders, and when we settle, we can uh, settle here. No, not gonna do that one. Let's see if we can peace out with... Lenape, uh, what are we going to take from you? Yeah, this is 100. We just take... Why do you not accept this? Yeah, would result in Lenape's annexation or vassalization. That's not true. That is not true, and that is why it is still not working properly. Uh... Yeah, it's not working. Not pillage the capital, I will help the other tribe with that. You take the money and I want to take your land. I guess we have to wait for more uh, ticking war score then. Yeah. We have time for it, so it's okay. Um, and that means we should maybe get uh, money from our favors for now. Oh, we are at war. We can't do it. Well, for now, curry more favors then. Yeah, there are still some funky things that need to be fixed. High income. Now, that is a good mission because it makes the building steeper for 25 years. I want to use this uh, right before we can build the pit. The ceremonial fire pit for reform progress. And we can't reach this guy. Pretty annoying that we cannot uh, peace out. That the game thinks this country gets vassalized, which is not true. It will not be vassalized. Still go to this province. Oh no, we can't go here anymore now. You can see. Because we have. We are at war and we have a truce with them. So I can only settle... Here, or back to my own land. So I will go back to my own land and and get these provinces for, uh, and add these with admin points to my tribal uh, land, and then maybe graze. Uh, can I? I can't cross here. I think. We won't be able to go here because we have a truce and we can't go here. So we could go here, 29, de devastation. I don't know. Maybe just go... Yeah, it's bordering. This one is bordering. We will go here if there's no one else there when the time is coming. Hey, can you reach it? What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, they are going to Canada. <laughs> They're going far away. One point seventy-five. Yep. Twenty-three development. Yep. And the high income will come and go. Oh, do you want to peace out now? I don't think you want to peace out for my peace uh, terms, so. I am gonna wait. Let's go to speed 5, actually. Yeah, we can build a building, but I will wait for the ceremonial fire pit. 
No. Okay, we'll bring you home. We have 10 favors. Now, can we do the peace deal now? Yeah, it's 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 not it's not happening the the vassalization thing. The game th thinks that's going to happen, but it's not true. Which means we can do the same thing again here. We can cancel your alliance. We can ask for a war operations, and we take one of your provinces. There we go. See, they're uh, they're not my vassal. Oh, we got an extra tribal land. Yay! We count this. Now we are at peace, so lower maintenance, make money. And when we are at 100 devastation, we will try to claim these lands for ourselves. If I go to war with you, you don't want to help because you're allied and you have a good attitude. You definitely want to take this region. At some point. So we have two more tribal lands added to our country. Alright guys, it's going to be the end for this episode. Thanks for watching. In the next one we will migrate. We will take this land for ourselves. And um, war, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't think we're going to go to war soon. Just need to make sure we get more tribal development. So... Thanks for watching, don't forget to like the video, and hope to see you in the next part. Bye bye.